What's up to the world? Word to the internet and hello to my adventure fam. It is your favorite ski coach, John Carbonell. I'm here to teach you guys how to jump today. You guys want to learn how to do some stuff like this? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm John. Welcome to Adventure Space. Welcome to Adventure Space and our first ever day of freestyle ski school. I'm a certified freestyle ski coach and today we're going to teach you guys how to jump. We're going to break it down into a three step process between our takeoff, our flight and our landing. Let's head down to the jump site and we'll start breaking it down step by step. The best place to start is with a solid base for any trick. From spins to flips and everything in between, it all starts with this basic jump. Once you've mastered the T-set, you'll be ready to start throwing some tricks and adding your own style to the jump. Hey, right, you made it down to the jump site. Let's start talking about how to get you flying through the air. Step number one is gonna be our takeoff. We're gonna break that down into a two-part process. It's gonna be our timing of our takeoff and our pop. Let's define those. Our pop is essentially the amount of spring that we can put into the jump ourselves. Our timing is what part of the jump we are gonna use our pop in. Pop is the most important part of jumping. It's what allows you to get control in the air. It's what allows you to get height. So our pop is essentially just us jumping. A lot of people like to get super low, squat way down here and treat it like they're flying into a high jump their first few jumps. Really all you need to do is bend those knees a little bit and just explode off your toes. When we're taking off for our pop, we want to take off our toes and keep our skis level and balanced. To get a chance on a nice flat surface before we get out and hit the jump, take a couple seconds of practice. Give yourself just a little knee bend, explode off those toes and see if your skis come up level. Your ski tips are coming up first. You're jumping backwards and taking off from your heels. Your ski tips aren't touching the ground. You're leaning way too far forward and just pulling your heels off the ground. We really like to see all, the whole ski explode off in one flat motion. As we come into the jump and get set for the transition, it's super important to stay on your toes and keep your weight forward as you prepare to take off. I came into a pretty low squat for this one. You shouldn't need to get any lower than this to attain a good pop. As you reach the lip of the jump, explode off your toes, jumping forward ever so slightly to counteract the angle of the jump and keep you flying through the air level and balanced. For the timing of our jump, we want to wait until our toes, this thing right here, is right at the lip of the jump. So as soon as your tips of your skis have already gone off the jump and those toes get to the top of the jump, that's when we want to explode and use that pop to send ourselves up into the air. As we approach the lip of the jump, our pop should be timed so our body reaches full extension just as our feet are about to leave the jump. If we go frame by frame here, you can see the point where the skis start to lift off the snow. To maximize the efficiency of our pop, we'll do this at the last possible moment. Too early and our pop won't feel very effective as we won't have used the entirety of the jump. Too late and you'll get the feeling like you're falling off the backside of the jump instead of having it launch you into the air as your feet will have missed the point where they can still push off the snow. For step number two, we're gonna jump into the flight. Once you've gotten a good pop and a good solid takeoff off the lip of the jump, we're gonna be flying through the air. We wanna stay well balanced and in control while we're doing that. To do so, we're gonna extend our arms out to the sides of our body. We're gonna tighten up our abs, our whole core, and we're gonna lock those legs out and form a perfect T with our body. This is where the breakdown starts to get pretty technical. Our extension into a T-set allows our body to form what we call a hollow core. This is essentially how your body controls your flight. By tightening our core and extending our limbs, we create tension up and down the entire body. The central point of this tension actually becomes neutralized, allowing the core of our body to float freely. This free-floating core stabilizes our flight by allowing us to manipulate our limbs around the central point of balance and gives us full control of our body while flying through the air. Step three is gonna be coming in as we prepare to land. We're gonna bend those knees, relax ourselves out of the T, bring those hands to our forward position so we can land in the front seat and not back here, go back, go slapping down on our back. Nobody likes to do that, we all like to ski away. Plant the poles as we land, drive our hands through as we ski it out. That's the three steps for jumping. It's just that simple. Well, 
that's gonna do it for our first day at freestyle ski school. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you learned something and you wanna see more of this content, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, peace out from John Carboneau. Be kind, the world needs more of it.